Hi, my name is James Holtzlag from the Hart & Trotter Whole Animal Butcher Shop. And what we have here is a whole bone-in loin from uh, one of our pigs. And what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, how to cut pork chops. So the benefit of getting the whole loin like this and cutting your own pork chops is not only you could uh, you can cut the thickness that you like, um, if you want to do double chops or just regular singles, and uh, you get the center cut loin section also. You can also save a little money on um, the cost of the pork chops themselves. You put in a little bit of extra labor, but it's, uh, as I'll show you, it's, it's really quick and easy. What I like to do is look at the vertebrae, and um, I can tell how thick the chops are gonna be in between each rib. And so these are about an inch, and so that's perfect. I'll actually cut right between the cartilage between all the rib sections, and I'll have nice one inch thick pork chops. If the vertebrae are a little large or a little too small, you can also go in between. You can do double chops. Since these are perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting in between the, uh, the cartilage themselves. So what I want to do is cut all the cartilage, all the chops, all the way down before I actually start taking the, uh, the chops off of the loin section. This just gives you more stability. If you were to try to saw one and then cut it off, and then saw another one, then cut it off, you'll eventually be left with a little two or three inch section and you're trying to saw and uh, it doesn't work out very well. You wanna make sure you're at your last rib and then that's when you wanna stop your sawing process. Okay, so now that I have all of the vertebrae sawed down through, I can start cutting the pork chops. So what I wanna do is go down in between the vertebrae and see where the end of the chop bone is, which would typically be, that would be a baby back rack. And then I wanna go ahead and just start cutting my chops from there. And as you go through, once you get down close to the skin, it's easier to pull back the chop towards your knife and it'll peel off a lot easier. And the last step would be taking the skin off of each chop. And so as you can see, there's a seam between the back fat and the chop fat itself. I like to try to stay in that seam when I take off the back fat, and it gives you a nice quarter inch layer of fat around each chop. Okay, so the last step that you want to do is clean them all up. So anytime you use a bone saw, it leaves sawdust, basically, and it's bone. And uh, it's not edible, so you want to go through, use one of these scrapers, and scrape down all that bone dust off. And that's it, that's how you cut pork chops.